What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, we're gonna check out 10 insane crowds that didn't let the wrestlers speak. Now, I just dropped a video earlier today talking about the importance of a great wrestling crowd and how it can make or break a show. So, I had to check this out of crowds not letting a wrestler speak. That's when you know you got something hot there. That's when you know the crowd is really invested in what's going on in front of them. And uh, it overall just makes just a lot of things better for that show or segment so we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support this is my wrestling flashback great uh wrestling content if you haven't already go subscribe to them link to the original videos down below let's get right into this one this is song getting heat comes with the territory in wrestling as heel promos are often met with boos and jeers <laughs> nice language do you teach your children the same talk but sometimes a reaction can be so thunderous or negative, the wrestler mm -hmm. can't get their words out. Ladies. Good. We'll look at various examples today as we highlight 10 times the Dominic crowd definitely deserves to be on that list. When my head goes up, your mouth goes shut. This segment got a time limit, so shut up. Thank you. Thank you. When it comes to heat, few people got more during the PG era Ooh, than Vicky Guerrero. Vicky, yeah. Her notorious excuse me catchphrase was born due to Vicky forgetting her lines. I said excuse me! The heat she was getting. But it Real soon became good a way heat. to fire up the crowd that were booing her, with the phrase becoming a staple of her promos. Excuse me! Just, it was just awful. Get off Vicky my got TV. some of the most heat of her career on the December 20th Raw from 2010. Here, she and Dolph Ziggler interrupted John Cena, and once Vicky got all the excuse me's out of the way, she went to speak. I said excuse me! Yeah, she's been shouted down. Excuse me! That was just... Nuclear However, every heat. one of her sentences would be shot down by the fans, leaving Cena in fits of laughter. You are not the only one. Listen to that, bro. What? You are not the only one. <laughs> Each time the booze got louder and louder, it was absolute gold. The Austin, Texas crowd showed Vicky no mm -hmm. mercy. You are not the only one. Well, we just made the all-time raw. Roman Reigns received a similar negative mm -hmm. reaction the night after he defeated The Undertaker at WrestleMania he 33. Reigns got already some nuclear heat, and it was good. But they didn't capitalize on it, but nevertheless, nuclear heat. One many of the hardcore fans disliked. And this dislike intensified when Roman beat the beloved Undertaker on the grandest stage, especially since Taker had left his hat, jacket, and gloves in the ring following the match, alluding to how this was meant to be the dead man's final match. Yeah. So when Reigns opened the show the next night, Ooh. the always raucous Raw after WrestleMania crowd were ready to let the big dog have it. Bro, this was so good. Every time he lifted the microphone to his mouth, Roman was met with a plethora of boos. The reaction didn't let up, leading to Reigns uttering just one line before leaving to get more booze. He'd seemingly retired so one of the greatest of all time. This was all the ammunition the fans needed, but with just five words, Roman was able to set the audience off even more. This, this is, is so good. So good. It was one of the most Imagine if you would have turned heel at that moment on. He oh. just been an arrogant, like I'm the one that tired the Undertaker. None of you bums could do it. Like, ah, uh, Oh man, he, 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 we would have gotten what we got with Roman now a lot sooner, man. Negative crowd responses ever seen in WWE, even though Reigns wasn't a heel at the time and wouldn't be for another three years. Yeah. However, for that one night in Orlando, Reigns was the most hated man in the business. Which was good. They had something. Next, we go to another post-mania promo as Dominic Mysterio spoke to the world after losing to his father, Ray, at WrestleMania 39. So Dominic good, had been bro. a great heel in the run-up to the show of shows, so fans were delighted to see him finally get his comeuppance. Now, the people wanted to rub his nose in the loss by not letting him talk as Dominic was drowned out by a sea so of good. booze on the April 7, 2023 edition of SmackDown. At WrestleMania... Oh, so <laughs> Mind you, he just lost, and they were booing him like like no other oh man fantastic the fans didn't want to hear his excuses and thus they verbally pelted dom with booze i decided i decided not to show aggression this is so head. good bro then came the you suck chance. Mysterio was eventually able to finish his promo after being booed out of the building by the portland oregon crowd mm -hmm. 
know who sucks? A father who lays his hands so on his own son. <laughs> it was some great heat and a testament great to how heat, well bro. Dominic had been doing as a heel. Like yep. I was saying. Yes. I can't. The biggest heel in the company, bro. Edge's return at the 2020 right Royal Rumble was an incredibly special moment as fans were delighted to see the rated R superstar back in the squared circle. The next night on Raw, Edge yep. was viciously attacked by former tag oh partner God, Randy Orton. So the big. next week, Orton looked to explain his actions. However, the Salt Lake City crowd weren't going to make it mm -hmm. easy for the Viper. The fans booed him before he grabbed the mic. Then when Orton attempted to speak, the boos were even stronger. Uh -oh. The audience didn't want to hear Why, what Randy? Had to say, as no explanation Why? just what you've sign. done to Edge the week prior. <laughs> Since Edge had just come back from a career-ending injury, only to nearly have his career ended for a second time. Last week, I... The crowd instead chanted <laughs> for Edge and directed you sub chant at Wharton. The Apex Predator ended up just putting the mic down and left the ring. I can't do this. <laughs> it was a clever segment and proved sometimes you don't even need to say anything to cut an effective promo. Mm -hmm. Sure, it was planned ahead of time, but it was still a smart idea as each time Randy delayed what he was going to say, allowing the boos to build and build. Orton's assault on Edge spoke a thousand words, yep. while the fans booing Orton spoke just Such as a much. Great the segment. attack was still fresh in everyone's mind, with the people at their most upset. Orton took advantage of this by letting the crowd cut the promo for him. Randy later explained his beatdown on Edge in a more traditional but still brilliant promo. I I love Edge more than you ever could. This is so good, bro. This was so good. Oh Orton's so promo good. was an example oh of how he can greatly enhance the story. But this wasn't the case for Bailey on the August 7th, mm -mm. 2017 episode nope. of War. The week before, Bailey suffered a separated shoulder during a match with Nia Jax. Look in slow motion. Bailey's oh. right shoulder crashing into the ring. It meant Bailey wouldn't be able to compete for the Raw Women's title at SummerSlam. Bailey came to the ring for an in ring interview to give her thoughts on the situation. Right as she began to speak, the booze rang out. Uh, yeah, it sucks. You guys made me feel a lot better. I saw your tweets and your posts. She thanked the fans for their support, but the booing continued, mm -hmm. which Bailey then addressed. I don't know who's booing. I the ones who are not booing right now. But this only made things worse, with Bailey looking taken aback by the response. From the WWE Universe. Yeah, and I think it's just her gimmick wasn't really working as well as they thought it would. It, it just, the cookie cutter baby face thing, it just was not working for her, bro. It just wasn't. Fans got tired of it, you know. They did. <laughs> the fans got tired of it, and they kind of turned on her. Yes, they definitely Bizarro turned on. The negative reaction for Bailey wasn't just because Raw was in the so-called bizarro world of Toronto. I'm gonna put a smile on my face and look yep. forward to coming back. It was because a lot of damage had been done to Bailey's character yeah. during her feud with Alexa Bliss. Bailey had lost the women's title in her hometown and was then easily defeated at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view when she mm -hmm. failed to use a weapon. Not to mention how badly she was. Yeah, it, it was, she didn't want to use a weapon, bro, because she was too much of a goody two shoes. Like people just stopped. Like, all right, bro, I. This is disgusting. Get her off my team. made fun of in the infamous This Is Your Life segment that Chairman Vince McMahon himself buried as one of the worst segments in company history. Bailey, this is your life. Remember that one? That was crickets. <laughs> wasn't Bailey's fault, by the way. Because of the kind of baby face I was, because of the kind of character I was, I just wasn't seen at that level. That's when it was like, it was just not working. Bailey's yeah. booking and popularity at this time was a far cry from her days in NXT, or even a year prior on Raw, which we'll get into next. As mm -hmm. here we have an example of a wrestler not being able to speak due to a positive reaction from the crowd, as opposed to a negative one. This occurred on November 7th, 2016. During a segment featuring each member of the Raw Women's Survivor Series team, this included Bailey, who got on the mic and was immediately serenaded by the Glasgow crowd who sang mm -hmm. Hey Bailey. I am so excited to be oh the song Bailey is often greeted with when she wrestles in the UK. Yeah, it is crazy. Even when she's a heel, the fans show out. They show a love. <laughs> Bailey acknowledged the fans and then tried to get back on track with her promo numerous times, but the people just kept singing. Mm -mm. I've been watching all the shows. 
<laughs> this, is, this is such a good this feeling. It made a cool moment topped off by Bailey's heartwarming reaction. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The sing-along continued once Charlotte got on the mic, as the queen also couldn't get a word in over the boisterous crowd. So the next woman and I... <laughs> no one cared. Shut up, Charlotte. Charlotte was forced to raise her voice, but even then she couldn't drown out the vocal mm -mm. majority. What are you even saying? These accents are terrible. I will never forget this. The singing didn't stop until Sasha Banks came out and joined in. Will you be my girl? Wow, yeah. That's right. All in all, it was a vintage UK crowd reaction. Mm -hmm. The audience sang for so long that the WWE had to edit down their chanting. By the time the show aired, several minutes were cut from the segment. Oh. <laughs> wow. The UK fans spent nearly five minutes singing for Bailey, which is almost as long as the Seattle crowd booed Elias and Kevin Owens mm -hmm. for the October 1st, 2018 <laughs> this was a good one. Elias and Owens were cutting a promo together when Elias mentioned that it didn't make sense to have a basketball team in Seattle. Doesn't make sense, you know? It's like having a basketball team in Seattle. Oh, good. Cheap Referencing heat. the Seattle Supersonics move to Oklahoma City in 2008, this hit a nerve with the audience as their boos were deafening. The sustained roar lasted for more than six minutes. Nah, this is some good heel heat. He had, he knew he had them. Listen to that. And it was over a minute before Owens and Elias said another word after the initial chorus of boos rained down. Kev, you're gonna have to speak up. These people are being very disrespectful. I said, you know what else is in my thing? <laughs> Turn my mic up. They need to hear me. Despite raising their voices and having their mics turned up, KO and Elias could still barely be heard over oh, the merciless man. booing. Seattle ruined everything all the time too. Listen to this. Yes. It was surreal to hear a crowd boo that loudly for yeah. so long. Turn the lights back down. Keep the spotlight on me. Big Cass and Enzo Amore were good. a popular team, despite never capturing tag team gold. They split up in the summer of 2017 when Cass turned heel, leading to a feud that lasted several months. The mm -hmm. Big Show eventually became involved, leading to a match at SummerSlam where Enzo would be suspended above the ring in a shark cage. Yeah. Six days before the match, Big Cass came out for a promo during an episode of Raw from Boston, Massachusetts. This Sunday at SummerSlam, it'll be... Cass tried six times to start his promo, but he was stopped after each attempt by the audience's booze. This Sunday, at, <laughs> this Sunday at SummerSlam, this Sunday at SummerSlam, I'll be here. All night. I'll he be here all night. Over the booze, which in turn became louder and more sustained. When I talk, it matters. When you talk, it does not. It was surprising to see Cass get that much heat. He made the most of it by continuously mm -hmm. stopping on purpose, manipulating the crowd and soaking up the booze before then talking. I still think they shouldn't have split them up before they at least won the titles and had a decent title reign. They shouldn't have split them up. But I know a lot of, a lot of people in the back weren't big fans of, uh, of Enzo, so. Down to the crowd. <laughs> He's so funny. I mean, I don't get the joke, but <laughs> One Night Stand 2005 was of one of wrestling's course. most memorable pay-per-views as we got to witness the original ECW of one course. last time. This show was still under the WWE umbrella, though, so some of the company's heel wrestlers ended up having a big presence on the show. The SmackDown crew was led by JBL and had reserved seats on the balcony. Bradshaw cut a scathing promo on ECW and its mm -hmm. fans. The people responded with loud, uncensored chants and venomous yep. boos. This was a hostile environment <laughs> jbl stopped once but the fans weren't going to slow down he shouted over the asshole and shut the fuck up chance this is good i see no women out here and you're chanting about a male organ now tell me who's the fruit Booty. JBL was so good here, they brought him back the next year for One Night Stand 2006, where he once again buried the fans, mm -hmm. firing back at the crowd's chance with an all-time funny line. You paid to see me. I didn't pay to see any one of you. Mm -hmm. In both of his appearances, you could just tell how much fun Bradshaw was having. No, he, he was, was having a great time. Bad guy, <laughs> garnering heat most heels dream of. I am a wrestling god. This show sucks. <laughs> As we saw with Bailey earlier, if fans are fed up with the character, they'll make their feelings known. Mm -hmm. Something Ronda Rousey realized Ooh, throughout her first run with WWE. Yep. Once, once fans didn't care about Ronda, and uh, I think Becky Lynch was supposed to be, I think Becky was supposed to have a match with her, but she ended up getting injured 
because of Nia Jax. So Charlotte took her place. And then Charlotte, even though it was a heel, beat the crap out of Ronda after the match and got a babyface chant. I believe that's what happened. WWE, and especially on the January 28, 2019 edition of Raw, while some fans may have been tired of Rousey as a face, the WWE certainly didn't help matters by sending Ronda out to cut a badly scripted promo, which the fans hammered her for. Last year, I stepped into this ring for the first she's, ever yeah, All she, Women's Royal Rumble. She's not that good on the promo. You can sense that man. Rousey wasn't feeling the material that was written for her. She watched on as the crowd chewed up and spat out her every sentence. I think Sasha may even get better today than she was just oh my all right, God. All right. oh yeah they oh, they i felt bad for it because they started Ooh, ronda definitely needs someone to speak for her let her in-ring ability be that but she's not good like when it comes to talking on the microphone. Bro. You got me to stutter. Good job. Causing her to pause multiple times and then uh, stutter as the booze and chance for Becky Lynch rained down. The yep. only competitor I have ever faced. Yeah, Becky was super over at this All point. All Ronda could do was smile and say things under her breath, no doubt frustrated at the situation. She began to play with the audience before finally being cut off by Bailey's music. Oh my god, this is oh Rousey was put in a tough spot as yeah. cold promos talking to the audience like this were not her forte. It Ronda weren't. was far better later in the show when she had someone to verbally spar with in the form of Becky Lynch. Mm -hmm. I could re-break your face faster than you could say Nia Jax. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hey, as man. always, if you enjoyed the video, this was a good one, bro. This was a fantastic one. If you guys enjoyed this one, y'all already know what to do. Go ahead, hit the like button on this video. Or go ahead, you can also hit the like button on the original video. Once again, original video will be linked down below. This was a good one. And once again, it, it goes back to the video I made earlier. Wrestling crowds, they can make or break a show. You want a good wrestling crowd is invested. It create great moments that can, you know, you can always look, go back and check out, man. One of my favorite wrestling crowds, uh, Money in the Bank 2011. I'm, I'm always going to go back to this because it was it was just that John Cena versus CM Punk, man. It just the atmosphere of that show was just electric. I love that. Man, take me back. Comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite wrestling crowd event. Doesn't matter if it's in AEW. Doesn't matter if it's in WWE ecw let me know just an event where the crowd went crazy it can even you can even bring up some wcw days man let me know what crowd you remember the most just made the show that much better and the crowd went crazy for whatever happened let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i'm still the undisputed youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all keeping me see you on the next one peace